I just saw someone jog by and it made me feel so bad about myself, but not enough to be that person, so. Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog, starting it kind of early today, um, at least in the week, it's a Friday, not like early in the day, it's five o'clock. Details you don't need, but starting another weekly vlog. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. I have been enjoying filming them. If there's ever anything that you're interested about, or want an update, plant tour, I have a few that are just dying on me, so that's fun. But just let me know what you wanna see and I will share it with you. But I'm not naked under this. I have a cami on, in case you were wondering. She's just rocking a kimono with her boobies out. All right, what a way to start the video. One of the plants that is not doing well is this guy. I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with you, buddy. But stop it, thanks. So on Fridays or like Sunday afternoon, just any time of the weekend, I like to look at my master to-do list and plan out next week. So I look on my Google calendar for any meetings and then I add in the to-do list items based on when I think I'll have the most time and energy. So I'm just going to start adding some of that information in now. So this year's anniversary theme was linen, flowers, or fruit. So I got Alex a bow tie made of linen that had flowers on it. Alex, of course, being the ever romantic man that he is, got me this. So it is a fabric version of my wedding bouquet. So it's actually three dimensions. It's made out of different types of fabric and there's like yarn down here and ribbon. It's just so it's just so beautiful. I don't I don't have words for it. So I just set it back here. I rearranged this background a little bit so I had room for it. It's getting kind of kind of crazy. Um something probably needs to leave or I might rearrange more, but right now I'm pretty happy with it. So there's like one or two more things that'll be okay. Anything else I'm gonna have to figure it out. As I was working on my next week list, I decided just to do the easy things and get them out of the way. And I've already accomplished five quick things, so that's pretty awesome. Just giving old Bancroft a walk after dinner. Hi, bud. So I have the pup, my Go Wild Erin Condren blanket, and I'm gonna journal outside while it's still nice and the sun's setting. It's actually quite warm today, so it'll be a fun, a fun little evening activity. Look at that good boy. Look at this beautiful beast. Hey guys, we are back at the store. It's Sunday, so the store is closed today, but I am going to completely re-merchandise it. All of it. I'm gonna take it all off the shelves, put it all back on. Might be a lofty goal, probably is a lofty goal, but when we first opened the store, we didn't have a lot of products, so we just kind of filled the shelves as we went along. But now we have a lot of stuff, so I want to give it sections and really like plan it out and have it like have a good flow. So it's about 9 a.m. I have Bancroft here with me, and we're gonna see how much we can accomplish today and you're gonna hang out with me. Alex might come a little bit later, but he's really not a morning person. He's like a late night person. So it's just, it's just me. I think I'm gonna start at the front, work my way back. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll find out. So this is the game plan I wrote up a couple of days ago of the different sections. So I think I'm gonna aim for this, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I think my plan is to put everything up here or on the floor, group it all together, and then figure it out from there. All right, so I've been here about two hours now. I've made a huge mess. 
I have like the made in Michigan and locally made section. So all of the things over here are mostly Grand Rapids or Michigan specific like creators and artists. And then this is all Michigan themed products. So now I'm transitioning to here. This used to be like kitchen stuff, but I think I'm going to turn it into like desk, stationary writing kind of stuff. All right, so this is the first table you see when you walk through the door. So it's stationary themed and I think it's okay. It's a little cluttered right there. So maybe I'll thin that out a little bit, but huh, made like a little progress, but there's so much more store to go. All right, I've had some lunch. Bancroft got worried about where I went and I've made some progress. So this is like the plants eco-friendly travel area. It's kind of a hodgepodge. This is for like food and cooking and anything food related. Huge mess on the counter still. More camping eco travel stuff. I have this little thing up there. I haven't really done anything with the cards, but I kept the cat stuff where it was and moved the dog stuff next to it and then expanded upon the like parenting kids stuff. And then this whole section's for teachers. I gotta add some pins down there. And then because I consolidated everything so well, I have like empty stands that I need to figure out what to do about, but I'm pretty pleased. So I think I'm finished. It's been about six hours and uh, basically finished means there's nothing on the floor or just piled up somewhere. So I definitely have some empty space and I spent my lunch looking for more products and everything. So hopefully we have new stuff coming in soon for the holidays, but I think it turned out really good. I just feel a lot better with the organization. Things don't just feel like they're randomly put anywhere. There's always like a purpose for each of the sections. It seems a lot more thought out. So I'm really excited and tired and a little out of breath, but look at these new earrings. So a lot of our wholesale people do such unique work that it's hard to put online because I would literally be listing like one pair of earrings so you'll definitely have to come into the store. So this is actually brand new. And I'm basically obsessed. I want all of these earrings, specifically these cactus ones down here. But this is a new supplier. She does things with polymer clay, like these barrettes. I might have to get myself one. This one is so cute. I might get that one. So cute. It's only $8? Shoot. Shoot, I'm buying it. I'm buying it so hard right now. I'm gonna check my own self out. Look at those. So yeah, my mom does all of the wholesale relationships now because she's obviously here the majority of the time. So I have the pleasant surprise of coming in and seeing who's new. So this is Heartstone's studio. Very cool. And she brought this like decor stuff and this little like leather plate. I've talked about it long enough. Okay, bye. It's a big day, guys. Alex is here on a ladder. He hates being on ladders, but we are putting up our store sign. All right, now I'm gonna go back and help him. Mr. There it is. Almost a year in the making. <laughs> Takes it out with the ladder. <laughs> ah! It's 
Monday and I'm just not, I'm just not vibing it today. I haven't even started working and it's after nine. Oh. But I'm gonna wrap this vlog up and I wanted to show you a couple things I got in the mail before I wrap it up. This is how you wrap it up. Oh, and I'm out of chai latte, like struggles. So first up is an order from Glossier. I think someone used my referral code because I got $10 free. So I just bought two of the boy brow, which is what I use on my brows. Like all the freaking time. I'm currently not wearing any, not wearing any makeup, but I love these cute little stem blocks. And so I got two of those. So whoever used my code, appreciate it. And then this one's really exciting because a card game company contacted me on Instagram, which is like, what? And they sent me the game. So it's called Rabble. And it has a lot of similarities to Monikers, which is one of my favorite party games of all time. However, it has a few really cool differences. So like Monikers, you're trying to guess a word. So the first round you can say anything, the second round just one word, and then the third round you act it out. However, this one has challenges associated with it where you have to speak in a British accent or wave your hands in the air like a crazy person or something. So excited to see um, what this is all about. And then it also has a portable fun size which is really clever and cool i haven't opened any of them so let's uh open it up and see what some of the words could be so this is the challenge deck so like after every card you do you have to do a push-up so it just adds an extra level of like crazy fun and then some of the cards are like jungle book so you have to like try to describe that or kanye west Another difference is Monikers gives you like descriptions of the cards and this one just says nurse. So I'm excited. I think it should be fun. I like the box as well. So there you guys go. Redid the store, hung up a sign, talked about a game called Rabble. Rude. Uh, I guess that's gonna be it for this vlog. I'm gonna vlog a lot more. I've been feeling vloggy So I'll probably pick up Tomorrow or right after this vlog is over. So you're gonna be getting a lot of vlogs in October apparently But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye